Have you ever been in a meeting with a baby penguin? Perhaps you have. If you have, then the people you've been in a meeting with have been using a tool called Animes by Facerig. Animes by Facerig is the natural successor to Facerig and as a result of which you can change your face into a variety of avatars. All whilst using the benefits of Microsoft Teams. Going to www.animes.us, you can see the official Animes by Facerig site. Now, this site will give you all the information on where to get it, how to get it, and what it's compatible with. You can see at the top, it's also got an iPhone app, an editor, and there's documentation there if you want to become an Animes artist. Also, you can get this on Steam for PC. Now, what can it do? As you can see, we've got a demonstration running on the web page in front of us, and it's quite good to have a look at that and have a listen and see what's going on. But typically you get the idea. You replace your face with an avatar. Let's check it out on Steam. Here we are on Steam, and here is the Steam page. Now at the moment, there's a release date of it coming soon. We've currently got a beta mode of this, and the software works fine. And the developer of Holotech Studios that created Facerig and Animes has worked on this. Now, a few changes to this model. Um, typically, these changes are is that it's, it's a free service and there's a subscription service. Okay, so there's no getting away with that. Um, and you can also buy coins for different avatars. in the anime software quite a different and streamlined interface to what we've had before in face rig where it was very busy what you can see straight away is at the top uh, we've got uh, a menu screen for animes where you can select avatars props backgrounds animations and check your settings you can also see a picture with my face and my real self uh, in my very busy workshop background um, and you can see the dots that are tracking my face around here. Nothing's on my face. It's doing this all by itself with the power of the webcam. As I open my mouth, the shark opens its mouth because it's tracking my face with the eyebrows as well. And you can see your avatar also moves. So again, I think this is working better than what face rig was. It seems to be more dots, it's tracking more points. And my webcam is a good, I'd say, two feet away from my face so you can see it is tracking quite well for what we're doing okay so that's one thing we've discussed the dots and what i actually look like on the screen which is great um, you can move this around should you want to again you can select your feed as well if you've got other feeds again i've got a stream obs virtual webcam um, as well and we'll see about in future videos getting this working with stream obs Right, so, import. You can import an avatar. You can subscribe for a limited import. Now, don't know where you come down on subscriptions. This is the way Facerig and Animes are going with subscriptions. That's up to them. Purpose of this video is looking at Animes and getting it to work with the video conferencing tool of choice. Okay, so here we go. Uh, scrolling down, you can see all our avatars down here. Right, we've uh, see I've got a shark who's holding a little squid. What is different um, in regards to face rig is you can put animations and key them. Right, if you see this, but this bar down here, we've got animations. Click on that, that brings up the animations bar. Pressing Q, my shark waves. Pressing W, I don't actually know what he did then snorted um what else do you do press e points it himself Let's see if we can move these around we should be able to yes we can it's a good interface it's very clean very simple probably made with mobile in mind pressing e points to itself uh pressing r waves there you go so you've got full animations there let's look at another avatar 
So there you go. We'll have him, Abel Jean, who were misses. There it is. Nice use of that for a hat and a bit of hair. Let's press Q. Out comes a hand. Pressing W. Does this sort of motion, which is good. Um, we've got the waving of the finger. And we've got our... Right. Okay. So we've got our avatar. Let's switch, switch back to the, the shark. I quite like the shark. Now, all these avatars do tend to use a, a credit system and a subscription system. So, um, if you've got a popular avatar, as you can see, there's a Donald Trump one there. And to unlock that, you need 399 tokens. Well, I've used all the 1500 tokens up that I had uh, on the avatars that I've got. Some came for free. It's a shame they don't import the face rig avatars yet, but they might do, as this is still in beta. Let's talk about um, backgrounds. So we've typically got a gray background. We can choose from backgrounds in this panel. You can import a background and let's import something in, I think from a bit of Battlestar Galactica. Let's do a screenshot just for demonstration purposes. There you go. We'll load in a background. Look, and it works really well with the background that I've put in. You can also use green screen, confirm that, for even better editing in your software application of choice. And I tend to use this um, typically when I'm using things like Microsoft Teams or something like that as well. But we're talking about Google Meet here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick something that looks pretty much um, fishy. That's about as fishy as we, I think we can possibly get. We'll go for the pool. And that's our background changed. I think it works really well. Now you can also record within Animes as well by hitting the record button. And that will then record your video, which you can then play back. As you can see, the frame rate seems to be jerking quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure what all that's about, but we'll test it out later. So we'll press stop after that eight to nine seconds of video. Um, and then you can also put props on as well. Let's save this recording. Say save as. Um, we'll put it in Battlestar Galactica and we'll just say um, animes test. Or should I say animes test? Okay, I'll we'll just put it in here. Select folder. Um, say new folder test in there we're done and it's saved in that one particular location as an mpeg and we'll go back and look at that in a minute so we talked about animations right we've talked about avatars we've talked about backgrounds we've talked about recording take a screenshot and that's also going to be very good as well imagine taking a screenshot like that Again, save it in your location of choice. Um, look at your background. Confirm a green screen background, for example, and then do a big cheesy grin. That'll be really good and easy for editing to cut out and put in any picture you've got. Save that again. Right, so that's done. Saves as a PNG. Brilliant. Um, what's next? We talked about animations, we talked about backgrounds, we talked about avatars. Let's talk about props. Okay, props took a bit of messing about to handle in Face Rig. I can honestly say within animes, they're better. So if you want a hat on your shark, there it is. Only so if I put my head down, you can see the hat has gone right on there. Uh, you can make the hat bigger. If you want to, you can change the colors, you know, on certain items. Uh, put, a, put some headphones on. How are they work? Now they're quite small, so let's expand them. And there's a shark wearing a set of headphones. Now that's got to be worth a screenshot, isn't it, really? Right? <laughs> oh, the fun you can have with this. 
Right, okay, so we've done all that. We've talked about backgrounds, animations. There's a shop as well, put the shop look. You can buy more tokens, import your creations, look at your subscriptions, how much you want a month. For free, you can do this for a 45 minute session, which kind of marries up with what you get with currently the free version of Zoom. Again, you've got Google Meet. There's no limit at the moment on what you can do in regards to the length of meetings and you can import it into other packages as well. And you can see you've got different options. If you subscribe, subscribe to uh, £99, $99 a year, uh, unlimited virtual webcam, not just 45 minute sessions. You've got import your avatars, which you can across the board. Uh, import avatars, uh, for the free version, it'll cost you 99 cents to Im import them, but unlimited for your, the paid. Remove watermarks. Use your iPhone as your face tracker, export videos in MP4, well, we've seen that works. Uh, stream 60 frames per second and pro streamer commercial rights, if you wanna make a lot of money out of it. And there's some rights there as well, which I'm not really gonna go into. Okay, so that was what it was all about. How much are the coin packs? Well, let's have a look at that shop, coin packs. $4.99. 2,000 gets is for 9.99 and 6,000 for 19.99. As you can see, I've burnt through mine already. Now, I can zoom in for my creation with the mouse wheel. All right, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. Okay, so that's quite a good feature. So here we are in a typical Microsoft Teams interface, whether it's Teams in the workplace or Microsoft Teams for education. What you can do is you can click on the top icon, down to settings, check your devices and make sure your devices are all set up. If your webcam is displaying quickly, you'll see yourself in the little window. Make sure all your headphones and your speakers are set correctly. Once that's done, what you can do is, is you can start a meeting. Okay, and you can change your meeting. And we're gonna call this an anime, anime's demo. Okay, now we're not gonna join now just yet, right? But what we will do is um, we'll start up anime's. And we'll do that from Steam. So Animate is gonna load up. As I mentioned, it is the official successor to FaceRig. And here you do, you can see me on screen. So typically, this is what we've got. You can see, and we'll make this screen a bit large. We don't need to see the Teams interface just yet. You can see my face is being contoured with little dots, my mouth, my eyebrows, and whatnot. Okay, so we know that side of things is working. Right, okay, we're gonna hit the broadcast button. We're broadcasting to a virtual camera. Then what we do, we minimize this. We go into our Teams interface, whether that's Teams for Education or normal Teams. Into custom setup. We change our camera either to Animes, or you might see it as listed as Composite Device. Click Composite Device. Turn your camera on, and there you are. That is animes communicating directly to Microsoft Teams or Microsoft Teams for Education and displaying your avatar. And you can join your meeting straight away. It's connecting. And then you'll be able to see your cat in all of its glory. And there you have it. As easy as that. Uh, typically moving back from uh, anime's feed into a normal feed where you see your face. So you've had your fun, uh, perhaps you've been told off in class or you know, you've got some non-tolerant um, colleagues that don't like the hilarity of anime's by face rig. Then typically what I tend to do is turn off the camera. So that cancels the feed, go into anime's, stop broadcasting, Close down animes. Now, you can either leave the meeting, all right, or 
you can apply to go to device settings, select your camera, and then if you're lucky, start the feed and then you come back. Now I say that if you're lucky, some applications like Zoom, Google Meet and WebEx, they haven't got that switch over of the video feed quite right. So I do say it is temperamental. It's not really the fault of Animate, it's more fault of the collaboration software like Meet, like Zoom, like WebEx that are doing this. I have found it to consistently work with Microsoft Teams and there's been no problems there at all whatsoever. So that was how to get Animes to work with Microsoft Teams or Microsoft Teams for Education for a little bit of hilarity. Hope you found the video useful. Let me know what avatars that you join your meetings with and what sort of response you got. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let me know how it goes. Have fun, take care, be safe.